really enjoying the flight on Pelican Fam Airlines, Freddy. A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I'd never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fish. Smooth landing, Luther. Thanks for the lift, Sam. Have a good time. Pelican Sam, here's a riddle. What kind of fish can you catch in a delicatessen? Give up a pickerel. You can catch a pickerel in a delicatessen store? Yeah, a dill pickerel. Boy, Luther, you're lucky you're friends with Freddy. <laughs> Luther, what word do the letters U-R-C-H-I-N spell? A pop quiz? Can't think. Brain failing. Ah! You're so silly. They spell urchin, as in, we found a purple sea urchin. That old fishing net is blocking our path. I wonder how we can get past it. Hmm. I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. Arrgh! Great job. I knew you could pull it off. Get it? Pull off? Oh, Luther. Luther! Freddy! Over here! Uncle Blenny? Uncle Blenny, what are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horst Fetters the Tourist. Can't your dogfish sniff out the thief? Old soggy sniffer ain't what it used to be. But if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. 
You and your friend, Freddy Fish. I'd better hold on to this. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. Our founder is one of the most beloved figures in our town's history. Without him, our town would not even exist. But are you a tailor? Not just a tailor. I am Pierre the tailor. When Pierre mends things, they are better than new. So if something was torn into a million billion teensy little pieces, could you mend it together? Be sure. With my eyes closed, floating on my head, and with both fins tied behind my back. Feathers I am, or monkeys, some of my best friends. That phrase book leaves something to be desired. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Pop. No, it's not. It's a purple sea urchin. I knew that. I just like to say Snaboopy Pop. Snaboopy Pop. Snaboopy Pop. Snaboopy Pop. the bullies club being a bully means never having to say you're sorry i feel sorry for bullies because inside i don't think they're very happy <laughs> Well, looky what we got here. A little green squirt and little goody two fins. Hey, I have more than two fins. Have you seen any suspicious characters hanging around? Nobody but that goody two fins Nadine. She's always hanging around the great conch show. What do you two want? 
excuse me, but I was wondering if we could borrow that flashlight to find the golden pipes. If it's in the clubhouse, it must be the clubhouse flashlight. And maybe you didn't notice, but this is the Bullies Club, and I just happen to be the president. <gasps> Getting that flashlight would really help us. All the more reason I shouldn't give it to ya. Gosh, how come you're being so mean? I already told you I'm president of the Bullies Club. I gotta set a bad example. Freddy, how come there are no pink polka dotted sea urchins? But there are. They live in the secret sea where everything is pink and polka dotted. You just made that up, didn't you? Uh huh. behind that waterfall. could move the pipe with telekinesis, the raw power of my mind. Ooh! Ouch! What's the matter? I think I sprained my brain. Guess we'll just have to find another way to get that golden pipe down from that banana tree. into a primate, in just a few million years, I could be up that banana tree lickety-split. Oh, uh, why don't we try and think of a more immediate solution? Hey, you got me! hadn't sprung a leak. I had to strike my sail and use it to plug the hole. Without a sail to catch the wind, I'm stuck out here. <sighs> that island has beautiful looking banana trees. I wish I could get over there. Hmm. 
Perhaps we have something to stuff in the hole so you could hoist your sail. <coughs> that would be stupendous. Then I could get moving again. <coughs> My poor leaking boat. Don't worry, Magenta. We'll have your problem solved in a snap. Okay, Luther. Let her rip. Good news. The hole's plugged. Uh, the bad news is I ripped your sail badly. No, it looks like you ripped it quite well. Don't worry, Magenta. We'll get your sail fixed. We promise. Monsieur Pierre, do you think you can mend our sail for us? Oui, oui. Now observe, mere mortals, as the great Pierre creates from the tattered rag the nautical fashion statement. Voila! C'est fini! Fini! Well, he said to say it. Sheesh! Magenta, we've brought you something you've really wanted. A banana split? No, it's the sail for your boat. Good as new. Wow, I'm impressed. And even better, I'm moving! <laughs> Oh, it's a lovely island and such beautiful banana trees. Thanks for your help. Magenta, could you climb this banana tree and toss us that golden pipe? It's a pleasure. Thanks a lot, Magenta. Now we need just two more golden pipes for old Zoe to pick up the scent. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Gee, I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. I sure hope you're right. Oh.
to prove Uncle Blenny is innocent, we still need to find two golden pipes and the stolen conch shell and prove that the thief is really someone else. See a change just burning a hole in your pocket? Then just step right up to Gilbarka's fantastic floating fun. You'll have more fun than a barrel of brine shrimp and end up taking home a fabulous fun house mirror. This one is a demo. The one you get will be even better. Just pay, then play. Do it today. Hey, hey, hey. And what do you say? has nothing to dread. Wow, that's really deep. The bag tells it all. I wonder if my mother's hiding inside that machine and writing these things. Brought a carnival organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. It's recording. We can record nine songs. This carnival organ, this carnival organ, this, 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 oh, this, oh, this, those are the organ sponges. The organ knows a lot of song. There are nine drum rhythms we can play. It's so dark in here, Freddy. I'm scared. I'll protect you, Luther. This carnival organ. Whatever you say, Luther. Say, are you two going to the Founders Day Festival? We sure hope things will work out that way. Well, you should, you know. It's going to be ever so much fun. Really, it is. So do you think that a narwhal and a little green fish can find happiness together? Nope. It's a purple sea urchin! 
Guppies, ladies and gems, step right up to Gilbarga's world-famous floating fun. Just four purple sea urchins get you inside. That's right, if you've got four purple sea urchins and you can hit the broadside of a barge, you can win an amazing fun house mirror like this one here. Groupers get group rates. You say you want world peace. You say you want thin thighs and bulging pectoral fins. Well, you won't get that here, but for only four purple sea urchins, what you will get is a chance to prove your skill and have a thrill. And win a phantasmagorical funhouse mirror, just like this one. Only one mirror per customer void where prohibited by law. See me, Gil Barker, for details. Here's a purple sea urchin. That's just one purple sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. Another purple sea urchin for you. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more, bring the total to four. Here's another purple sea urchin. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you, too, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day. Flip the critters up the wall. When enough of the same critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away.
the level in appreciation of your prodigious prowess the world famous floating fun is proud to present you with this a fantabulous fun house mirror replica there is no time for that now Luther Push this log. Well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Oh. We can't slack off, Luther. Not if we want to push the log into the waterfall. Oh. Just a little further, and we'll have this log in position. This old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall. You should try having brainstorms on a more regular basis. from the dramatic to the acrobatic, and it's all 100% aquatic. So now, ladies, gentlefish, and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed. <laughs> Come on, everybody, let's put those fins together. That's it. Funhouse mirror isn't like a regular mirror. A 
funhouse mirror can make things... A funhouse mirror makes things look different from how they really are. This president of the Bullies Club, I command you to leave. Freddy, I know we need his flashlight to get Uncle Blenny out of jail, but this guy is too mean to mess with. Hey, Luther, I have a plan. Light as long as you want.
I hope you enjoyed flying Pelican Sam Airlines, where your bill is never as big as mine. Fit in these tubes, Luther, but you can go. Yippee! I think this makes you go through the tubes twice. can pick up the bad guy's scent. Here you go, boy. <laughs> Come on, Luther. We've got a bad guy to catch. you out so you can put the jewel back and we can catch that thief. <laughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. I really like going on adventures together, Freddy.
Hang on to that gem, Luther. We'll need to put it back into its setting once I get you out of there. Please hurry, Freddy. I wonder where I can <coughs> find the key that fits it. Ho, ho. Hey, I'll bet that's the key I need to get Luther out. Nothing in this place is as easy as it looks. That certainly is an odd looking hole. Ooh, that's a gorgeous shade of red. I hope this doesn't set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, this red crystal could really come in handy if I could only break it loose. Beautiful blue. Uh, oh, uh, phew, this blue crystal could really come in handy. If only I could break it loose. It might come in handy. A chisel could loosen that crystal. This crystal sure gives off a lot of green light. might come in very handy. Hey, the crystal grew back. This beautiful red crystal sure gives off a lot of light. in very handy indeed. <laughs> crystal, crystal, I want to get this crystal. from this blue crystal. That could come in handy.
I have an idea. in that bag? You haven't got a thing on me! Oh no? Okay, so maybe you do have something on me. I confess, I did it. The festival is the one day of the year when nobody comes to the carnival. And if nobody comes to the carnival, I don't make any money. But what's money compared to the happiness that the festival brings all your friends and neighbors? Anyway, no matter what anyone else says to make it seem right, it's just plain wrong to steal. You know, there are winners and losers, and I sure don't feel like a winner. I'm sorry. Here's the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand, exalted keeper of the conch, thanks to Freddy and Luther. <laughs> and old Soggy. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, oh grand, exalted keeper of the conch. Gil was convicted of violating Penal Code 214 for excessive greediness. He was sentenced to 4,672 hours of public service silently working in the library. Case closed.